The first big concept involves counting, representing, and subitizing with objects and pictures for the numbers 0 to 10. Students are presented with organized sets of dots on cards. Those quantities are represented on a work mat with objects while students count forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. After counting the set, students should count forward again, but begin at a different counter. One, two, three, four, five, six. This will reinforce the concept of cardinality. The last number said identifies the number of counters in the set, regardless of the arrangement or order in which the counters were counted. Finally, remove each counter and practice counting backward. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Next, students will use a 10 frame as a tool to organize quantities greater than five. Students are provided with a quantity of objects. Students should realize that quantities greater than five, such as the quantity of seven, cannot be represented on a single five frame. Help students notice the relationship between a five frame and a 10 frame by putting the two five frames together to represent the quantity of seven. It is important to fill the frame from left to right until the entire row is filled, then continue filling in the next row and show the one-to-one -one correspondence while counting forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finally, Remove each counter and practice counting backward. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Finally, students will use a pictorial representation such as 10 frames on a spinner. Students will spin and represent each quantity on a 10 frame while practicing counting forward and backward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Previously, students used a 10 frame to represent and count quantities. Now, students will use a new tool called a Reckonrec to represent and count quantities. Rec and Recs consist of rows of 10 beads. Each row is made of five red beads and five white beads. This allows students to make mental images of numbers. Rec and Recs support subitizing and counting because the beads are visual models of the benchmarks of five and 10. The beads always start on the right side of the rec and rec. As we count the beads, we move them to the left side. When no beads have been slid to the left, it represents the quantity zero. Connections may be made between representations on the rec and rec and the 10 frame. Slide five beads to the left and fill up five spaces on the 10 frame. Notice there are five red beads on the left and five white beads on the right of the rec and rec. Slide another five beads to the left and fill up 10 spaces on the 10 frame. Notice that on the 10 frame, we've filled up two rows of five. When students model a quantity such as eight on the rec and rec, slide five and then count on six, seven, eight. When students model a quantity such as eight on the 10 frame, fill up five spaces in the first row 
and then count on six, seven, eight.